Well, welcome back to RD Works Learning Lab. In this session, we're going to deal with accurately sizing and accurately positioning objects on the page. So let's just clear the screen for a minute. And we're going to do that by going back to the normal selection cursor. And I'm going to hold the mouse button down from the top left hand corner Again, this is all standard Windows technology if you've done any of the drawing programs, but in case you haven't, you're dragging something here called a marquee, which puts a set of boxes that collects all these objects together and then allows me to press the delete key. And they've all gone in one stroke. One stroke. I've joined them all together as one group. That's a very useful tool which we shall use later on. Let's quickly go back and draw another square. Control key and we'll draw another circle control key and we're now going to take a look up here at this top left hand corner where we've got some uh, some little windows with numbers in if I use my standard selection cursor and click on the line itself not the space in the middle you'll see that I've put handles on the object now as I indicated before we can change these and as we change these let go this horizontal dimension here and this vertical dimension here will change as well but because we've set this up as a square when we drag a corner handle the shape remains proportionately correct it remains locked the same applies to the circle we put handles on the circle if we check the dimensions of this circle it's about 55 we can drag a corner handle out and we can increase the size of the circle. Now let's go back to this again. If I change these dimensions, and I can do up here, look, if I go from the left, wipe across from the left to the right, that's a horizontal dimension, which I will change from 80 something, nearly 90 to 100. Now watch what happens to the circle when I press, the, sorry, watch what happens to the rectangle when I press enter. now 100. I can do the same for the vertical dimension and I want to get this back to a square and unlike some Windows programs where you can grab hold of the corner, grab hold of a control or shift key and it will automatically drop back into a square. Sorry this one doesn't do any such thing. So control Z will set me back to 100 click put the handles on it again and I will change this other dimension to a hundred and now we're back to a hundred by a hundred now the reason why I've done this is to show you about this little padlock here if we click the padlock closed now and you'll notice it was open before and because it was open it allowed me to change these dimensions independently if I click them closed then I've got a square here and I will want to go back to say 50 millimeter square if I just put one of those dimensions back to 50 millimeters square because I've locked the proportions the other dimension goes to 50 as well okay now I can change it by a percentage in the same way as a dimension so what are these other dimensions here the X and Y well let's just move this around to a different position the red X in the middle has now changed to a different set of dimensions so <clears throat> again we can't lock these because they're independently set features but what we can do is set that one to a hundred and if you'll notice it's now gone to the hundred the 100 coordinate and we'll set the other one Whoops we set the other one to 100 as well and so that center is now on coordinate 100 by 100 and that's what this XY is it's the centers of the figures or well, the final thing I want to touch on in this session is this tool here which is a rotation tool let's put the handles back on the square and if I choose to make this square go say 30 degrees it will go 
clockwise and it'll actually go anti-clockwise I believe yeah it'll go anti-clockwise 30 degrees so it certainly isn't the way that it's shown on that picture up there and I think if I do a control Z I'll be able to get it back again to zero if I put the handles on it and this time I shall make it minus 30 degrees it goes the other way now if you understand about the coordinate system the Descartes coordinate system that will make sense to you because three o'clock is actually zero degrees and it goes round the clock backwards <laughs> it doesn't start at 12 o'clock and go clockwise the principle is basically that this bottom axis is zero angularly this point in the bottom corner here is zero degrees a polar at the center of a circle and it rotates back 90 degrees and that's a positive 90 degree rotation and so this is a negative 90 degree rotation which is which I've, which is what I've just done there I didn't invent the system I'm just explaining it so here we've got accurate angular control but if we just want to randomly move things around if we click on this square double click on the square click click the handles change into rotators and we can move the object round in a random fashion wherever you like and I say random fashion because we've got no idea what the angle is that we've moved it to there's no indication anywhere so be careful if you want to move it accurately you'll have to do it with this accurate positioning system up the top there well thanks for watching uh, next time we're going to be tackling all these uh, location and alignment tools across the top here